if you have a dream, if you have something that you want to work for, then please just keep grinding for it. And it's going to take time. Like, that's still what I'm working on right now. It's taking a lot of time. I've been putting in, like, trying to upload every single day on some platforms. Just, like, keep grinding, keep working towards it, and you're eventually going to get it. G'day, I'm Rob. Welcome to the Life That Travels. Today, social media marketing world. Guys, this is Parker. That's me. <laughs> it's good to meet you, man. Um, Thanks for having me. Now, mate, <laughs> you might not remember this. Last year um, at this conference, I actually saw you um, doing an interview with Paul Ramondo, who's huh. a vlogger. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that? And you guys Kind were... of. I do, just a little bit. But now you like put it together, I kind of remember you like there. Yeah. With the hat, with the hat. It's the hat that sticks out. I was like lurking in the background. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it was really funny because you guys were, um, I might just drop the footage in afterwards, but. Today, my name's. It's good, it's good, it's good. G'day, g'day, my name's Paul Romando here. Paul Romando, yes, I'm Paul. This is Parker right here. That's exactly how you say it. Parker. This is Parker right here. It's Parker. Paul and Parker. Squad. Squad on boy. You guys were like, um, you were taking the piss out. Not pissing, you were taking, doing an imitation of the Australian <laughs> accent and he was doing yours. I remember, good day mate, how you doing? Yeah, <laughs> and he was going, g'day, g'day, g'day. And keen, awesome. you gotta stay keen. Do you say that word? I'll show keen. you. Keen, yeah. Keen. Yeah, like if you're keen, like you're really excited about something. Really, ex really excited. Really excited. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we like, we like to understate things. So like if, <laughs> if something is like the most awesome thing mm -hmm. ever, we tend to say like, it's, it's all right. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's alright. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she's pretty good. All right. Good one. <laughs> You're pretty good. Um, mate, I, like, there was this beautiful moment. So, um, for those of you who don't know social media marketing world, a lot of the kind of like top social media people are here presenting on stage, and you just got up in front of like hundreds of people um, and threw yourself into like this live exercise. Um, how old are you? I'm 15 years old. Shit, dude. Like, just tell me about that moment. Like, where, how, did, how, how are you so fearless in terms of getting up in front of that many people off the bat? You know, I just think it's one of those things where I've been, like, I think it was, like, just born into me. Like, with my mom, who's over here to the side. Mom, you should make a guest appearance. Guest appearance. Back. Guest appearance. Come here, come he's, here. Come he's here. recording for us yeah. as well. Here we go. Hi. We got mom in here. I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> No, but I think it just came when I was born. It's like, it was just a natural thing. I started creating videos and I remember like, I used to have videos when I was like five years old of me literally just like imitating people. like having fun on camera and I think yeah. it just came through that. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, and, and like obviously you're, you're following this passion, is that why, you, so you were just saying before we got on camera that you moved to LA, is that part of this, part of the reason or is that something else that's led you to LA? Uh, so I want to become an actor and that's yep. what I'm working on. I've had a lot of big auditions and stuff and nice. I also am doing like the social media angle so that when I go into the audition it will help out like having a social media presence. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I'll make sure I drop your um, channel down at the bottom here. You already know. Um, <laughs> so check him out. Um, but, but how important is it to follow your passion? So important. Like seriously, like if you have a dream, if you have something that you want to work for, then please just keep grinding for it. And it's going to take time. Like that's still what I'm working on right now. It's taking a lot of time. I've been putting in like trying to upload every single day on some platforms. Just like nice. keep grinding, keep working towards it and you're eventually going to get it. And so what would you say, so a lot of people I talk to, I do a lot of videos for like university students in Australia, trying to help people like work out what to do in terms of what should they get, should they go to university, um, which you need to go to, that sort of stuff. Um, what do you say to someone like that who's kind of like, oh, there's this thing that's inside me that I'm kind of interested in trying out, but I don't know, like fear holds yeah, them yeah. back. How do you break through that? I would definitely think like, just give it a shot. Like, in. I know obviously there's a fear and sometimes you just have that fear and you just don't want to do it, but give it a shot and see how it works out for you. And if it doesn't work out well, then you just be like, okay, I'll back off, maybe try something new, but go ahead and just try it. Just try it. And um, what's next to you then, man? So you're, you're up in LA? I'm up in what LA. Yeah, I, I've been living in LA for about six months now. and. 
it's just been a lot of fun. I'm just putting in a lot of work, trying to create new stuff, trying to always think of something new. And that would be one tip for all of you all out there. Mm -hmm. Just if you are in this industry, just think of something new and different and unique. If you can do that, then you're gonna find a way on how you can become better and build up a following over other people just by being different. So I've just been working on a lot of that stuff and creating content and auditions and everything and just trying to put in work. Do you get your ideas from? Oh, oh. Mm. Okay, so I've been recently doing a lot of like TikTok instead of like YouTube. Like I've been doing YouTube. Nice. And so if like last year and the year before then I was hustling on YouTube, I remember uh, I started social media. Wow, when I say this, it's wild. So I started uh, YouTube two years ago, social media marketing one. I'm, I'm an alumni now, guys. I'm an alumni. I'm a veteran. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yep, so I'm a th third year, and I remember I hit 300, subs no, 500 subscribers on YouTube back uh, uh, the first year of social media marketing world, and now on YouTube, we're around 8,000. Wow. And then on TikTok, we're at 30,000, and on Instagram, it's 18,000. It's amazing. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, awesome. What's the goal then? My keep, goal, keep it growing. yeah, it's just to keep it growing, and I've just always wanted to just like, just make it big on social media, but also like influence other people instead of just being that person that has a following and not influencing people, influence people in a good, positive way, nice. and also just have it help my acting. Yeah, nice. It was it was kind of cool, right? Because you're in a room like. You, you must be one of the youngest people here by a long way. I think Everyone's so. like, oh shit, dude, like, you're just standing up there just going for I was for like, what's it. up? No, I literally won $100 <laughs> just by being up on stage. Look that's at that. That's a clean 100 <laughs> That's wild. It was wild. Um, and, and so, so okay, now here's another thing. Um, you're at a professional conference mm -hmm. full of like professional people who work in the social media space. What does it do for you to be here you know what I mean? Like, um, I think a lot of people go to uni, they've got an interest, would never dream of like going to a professional conference in their in Definitely. Niche. Definitely, no, I think it helps a lot just because everybody all has like different points of views on how they're trying to like conquer their goal and stuff. And, and I'm very fortunate for my mom and dad allowing me to come here. Um, but like, it's, it's good to hear from other people and yeah. what they're doing. So you can kind of take a little bit from them and then put it into your brand just a little bit. Yeah. And then that'll also, like I said, it'll help uh, find a way that you can make your content different than what other people are doing. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's because one of the things, you know, my, my passion area really is outside of the work that I do, helping people study overseas, but there's so much pressure on young people, you know, like to conform to a certain path. And a lot of it comes from parents, but you're obviously not like that. You're just like no, helping this, this was, guy fly. this was totally him. Yeah. And they say, you know, if, if it's the, the parent that's, you know, pressing upon the child to succeed and you've got to do this, then, then they're just going to implode. There's not going to work. So he pushed us and, you know, I want to go, I was going to the social media conference. He's like, mom, can I go? And he was just three to 13 years old, 12 or 13. And so I was like, well, yeah, great. I think this would be a good opportunity for you. And they just, they ate him up. I mean, he loved it. He interviewed yeah, people yeah. And, and, and got some of the biggest interviews. You know, Zach King who has you know, 20 million subscribers, just loved to meet him and they stayed friends and all that. So he's made some great contacts here at Social Media Marketing World and has stayed in touch with them. And I'll um, strongly recommend all of y'all to come to Social Media Marketing World. And this is not an ad, so seriously. <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 so, um, so really, it's, it's been, it's all been Parker, you know, driving the train and we've just, we've let him go. They say, you know, you love something, let it go. Yeah, because they don't even live with me out in LA at the moment. I have no, a legal guardian. No, we got, yeah, we wow. hired a legal guardian, a friend of ours. Respect. And so, so we live in Kentucky and he lives in Los Angeles. Amazing. I'm super thankful. What's that like? Like, we listen, but we try to come out every month. So I'll come out, like I'm here, and then my husband was here last month, and then uh, he's coming home in April for Easter, and then I, we're both coming out in May. So. We see him at least once a month. What's, what's that like, Parker, when you go to your parents and you say, hey, I think I want to move to LA. Can you tell me about <laughs> He's that? He's been saying that for years. Yeah, so I've right. literally been saying that for years. Like, it's always been my dream. And like, once I had that opportunity where I was able to, because I always like wear my hood up, because I came off the train and I know my hair looks terrible. Why not? I need your hat. Go for it. I'll tell you. The hat, yeah. There no, but go. I've always <laughs> the hat. Wow, look at I this, like guys. The, hat. the new movement. The hat, the hat, the hat. Movement, isn't it? That's this is it. cool. Um, sorry, did so I have a bit of wax? No, your hair looks good. I like the hat. Um, I've just gotten off the like I got off the long haul plane from Australia, so I need my hat tonight. <laughs> oh man, but no, this it's like awesome. um, uh, wait. What was it like? Tell, like what was it like? Oh yeah, so he's been, the first he's been time? pushing us since I've he was a little boy to move to Los Angeles, nice. and we just couldn't figure it out. I mean, 
we're in Kentucky and he wants to go to all the way across the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then two and two just put together. That, like I went out there for an episodic season for acting, awesome. and my mom was like, oh, "Okay, if you want to make it here, you're gonna have to stay for longer." And it just came together and it just worked out perfectly. And they signed. He signed with an agent, mm -hmm. and the agent said he needs to be in Los Angeles if he wants gotcha. to make it. So gotcha. he's got an agent and manager now, and he's going in auditions, doing online schooling now. Awesome. So awesome. yeah, it's been crazy. What 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 would you say? To, uh, to parents that that really do want to like guide the direction of their children because to me that's a phenomenal thing that you're doing like, well and a massive amount of wow uh, we've definitely uh, done Courage. a lot of uh, listening and talking to other people who have um, kids that are in the industry and yeah. um, if you can you know make it happen try to you know, do everything for your kids, and if it doesn't work out, then at least you tried. And I think he would have been resentful if he we hadn't let him go. Sure. And uh, he's got to, he's got things he has to accomplish, or we're going to bring him home. If he acts out or he misbehaves, he's not going to stay out here just <sighs> carte blanche. Yeah, I, <laughs> I like that. I mean, that's really yeah, concrete, though, isn't to, it? So. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> Yeah. He has to behave. <laughs> and that makes you probably pretty motivated to like get <laughs> yeah, all your school stuff done. Because definitely. we may yank it. Yeah. Awesome. Parker, what would you say to someone? So somebody's watching this video, they're, they're well, I say young, like probably older than you. Like <laughs> somebody's going to uni, they, they want to like talk to their parents about, they've got this big or massive idea, they want to follow a dream and, and they just can't feel like they can get out. What would you say to them? You know, I would definitely say is like, make sure before you actually start trying to go for that dream, actually like have a base plan as to how you're going to achieve that. Instead of just going just like, oh, okay, here it is, boom. That's not gonna work as efficiently if you can actually write down like what you're going to do. And I, that, I was actually in a class the other day and I was thinking on how I could kind of build my brand in a way and I'm just gonna write down exactly what I'm passionate about. So I definitely think the same thing for like you all is like write down how you are going to achieve this mm. goal and then, then put the work in and then do it. Yeah, that's nice. And I guess I love that idea too that you know you guys have set some really concrete deliverables on the way mm -hmm. through that you have to achieve in order to just sort of continue to pursue that just goal. Just to continue right? to work hard. I mean, it, it's probably unrealistic to say, you know, you're going to go to LA and you're going to get famous. If you're not, you're coming home. Yeah. We understand yeah. that's not, you know, those are not uh, realistic goals. But what we do say is if you misbehave and you mess it up, you're coming home. Yeah. You yeah. know, if you don't keep grinding and you misbehave and you break curfew, and you know, that kind of thing. Which I would definitely say, like, for all of you all, like, in this situation, always, like, once you have something and, like, once you have, like, it all in front of you, then actually take advantage of that and actually use that and just then actually put in the work. One thing that shines out of you, both of you, actually, is, like, work <laughs> ethic. It's true. It's true. And, like, like I'm, I'm massively impressed, right? Um, Thank you. Thank you. Like, work ethic. Clearly, like work ethic is something that's important to both of you. Can you tell me, like, firstly, why is it important and how do you get it? Well, um, I was an only child and I, my mother was um, handicapped. She had artificial knees, so wow. she was in a wheelchair my whole entire life. Wow. So I had to be very independent and I had to do things. So we've tried to instill that in our children to, instead of us, uh, you know, until, instead of them going, us going to the grocery store for them, we'll say, you run in and you need to get these, 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 and wow. they get the labels and they find it. Mm -hmm. So you try to give them little tasks along the way. And, and that, they've been doing that a lot actually, is I, I traveled here on my own from LA to San Diego. Yep. And then I also traveled from Kentucky to LA on my own also. So, it's so just whenever like, we would fly place. in the airport, instead of us just immediately going to gate, we'd say, okay, we're at gate A3, find it. <laughs> find it for us oh, and they'd nice. find it. So just give them little tasks and, um, you know, working hard and not always having it given to you. Um, because life doesn't always give it to you, does it? No. <laughs> like you got to work for it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. And how about you, mate? So that's obviously rubbed off. Mm -hmm. It has. It really has a lot. Just because I've been very fortunate to have parents like my dad's not here, but okay. shout out to Rick Panel. You already know. Um, no, but like they've just like they've raised me in such a good way, and like I've been super fortunate for that. And now I've actually known how I can actually do stuff with my life instead of just sitting around and on a couch all day. You know? Yeah. So yeah. make it happen. Mm -hmm. Make it happen.
guys, so good to talk to you. Thanks. Thank you for um, having us. Here's your hat back. Uh, uh, hat really back like would be awesome. Hat. Hat I really like go. that hat. Is that, that's an Australian it's, hat. Yeah, this is like an Akubra. It kind of matches Cobra? with my hoodie too. So. Yeah, like an Akubra. Akubra. So wow. in, in America, you guys you guys get have this, you know, the Stetson down in yeah. Texas Akubra. is like yeah, yeah. The, the kind of We need to get that brand. hat. That's and cool. a Kubra is, is like the Australian one. We need to get one. I like it. And awesome. you know, just thinking about, like, thinking about being yourself and, you know, I wore a hat since I was like a teenager and all through my, I did my too. 20s. Did you? I did too. Last year, uh, both social media marketing ones, I would wear a hat all the time. Nice. I just didn't need more. It just, I don't know. But yeah. Yeah. Nice. And like, I just think it's, you need to own your own, like what you're comfortable with. Like if it's a hoodie, if it's a hat, <laughs> like just just I think Parker needs and, a Kubra. Yeah. I think that Possibly. could be your good thing. Be a good look, mate. You'd yeah. be pretty good. I learned, I learned Not many people best. in LA wearing a Cooper. <laughs> the Aussie from Kentucky. Yep, there Something we go. Something like that. I and like you've got the accent too. I like yeah. it. Yeah, I'm an Aussie. Guys, Thanks. so good to chat yeah. with you. Thank, Thank you so much you. for your Thank time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye from Kentucky.